Thanks. We had some strong and severe storms blast through our Florida parishes in southwest Mississippi, as well as the North Shore earlier this afternoon evening. Now we are nice and quiet, but check out these storm reports on the map. So for Washington Parish into southwest Mississippi and the Mississippi Gulf Coast and central Mississippi had plenty and numerous uh, wind reports, wind damage reports. So trees down because of these strong winds that reach the surface 60 70 up to 80 mile per hour winds were possible with these storms and again that is a recipe for some wind damage we haven't had any wind damage reports or even really hail reports come out of the storms now it is nice and quiet 80 degrees will only dip down into the low and mid 70s the storms are over but we could actually have some areas of fog in the morning five six o'clock showing the potential for visibility down to a mile or or less. So make sure you use extreme caution if you're going to be out on the roads early in the morning. So be on the lookout for that and make sure you use extreme caution if you're going to be outside tomorrow as well. Temperatures will be in the mid 90s, mid 90s Wednesday, mid 90s on Thursday, slight rain chances, so very, very low rain chances, but our humidity is going to come up each and every day. So I always talk about uh, once we hit that 70 degree mark in terms of a dew point, we're in that swampy category. But once we get into the mid 70s and higher, that's when we get in that unbearable category. And with that being said, temperatures, even though 96 all across the board through Thursday with increasing humidity, Humidity, we're going to have feels like temperatures more than likely reaching that heat advisory criteria, which is 108 or greater. So look for that later in the week, again, starting Wednesday. Tomorrow, not much in the way of relief from the heat. The best chance for rain will likely be more to our north. Same for Wednesday. You see not much on the board for uh, or for rain on the future track. A little bit of green was popping up in southwest Mississippi. And we're going to be so, or at least mostly dry and hot. We'll have this very stout ridge of high pressure just parked to our southwest. Eventually, it may slowly start to lift to the north. And with that, our heat's going to increase. But until then, later this week, it's going to be part to our west southwest. And then on the eastern, eastern periphery of this ridge, we could have a couple of disturbances swing through. And in turn, that could lead to some thunderstorms developing during the peak heating of the day, a uh, ring of fire weather pattern, if you will. But don't uh, completely depend on that because our rain chances, very, very low high heat, high humidity. This is dangerous heat. So even with temperatures in the upper 90s, it's going to be the high humidity that really makes it dangerous to our bodies. So our feels like temperatures, at least as of now, look to be over 110. So that it could lead to some, again, serious heat related illnesses. So do not take this lightly by any means and use those uh, heat related precautions. If you're going to be outside, considering it is Father's Day weekend, you see low rain chances, but still not totally zero, pushing 99 degrees this weekend. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few spots get into the lower 100s. Christina, a lot going on this weekend. And I just fear that a lot of people may not take this heat seriously. It will creep up on you. Yeah, I mean, Friday, what was it, 98 